Good morning. Um, for this video, we're going to be focusing on one of your goals. And one of your goals is for you to be able to strike an object using a body part or an implement, which, you, which could be like a, like a badminton racket or a stick. But for this one, we're going to be focusing on using any body parts. Now, any body part means it could be your hand, it could be uh, your, um, your arm, it could be your fingers, it could be your head, your knees, your leg, um, shoulders, anything that... Um, is attached to your body you can use to strike this balloon now this one I went to the Dollar Tree um, and got this balloons I like this ones because it gives me a chance to also work with the kiddos on their colors um, so I what I do is I blow it up and then we work on their colors um, I ask them what they see and so forth so I'm gonna do this right now So you want it to be, you want the balloon to be um, a bigger size and I know that specifically with this goal for this kiddo, this kiddo loves this balloon and again I'm not using the name of the kiddo because I want to keep it confidential but this kiddo loves, loves balloons, just loves, um, even not uh, when they're um, in this state but when you're blowing them. He likes uh, to hear that sound when um, if you put it uh, kind of close to his ear and if you let go of the air, he likes that sound against his ear. So it's, that's always a good motivator for, uh, for me to kind of ask more of the kiddo. But whenever I have a chance, I get to ask the kiddos, you know, to express what they know. So I'm going to ask them, oh, um, you know, for example, I'm going to say, um, and there's Miss Lorenzo, I'm going to say, Lorenzo, what color do you see here? And then... Um, Lorenzo will tell me, oh, I see red or yellow or orange or green or blue. Um, so it's a good chance for them to practice their colors. And what, what I like to do first um, is we're just in a sitting position or they can be standing up. I'll show you guys both of them. But from a sitting position, what I want the kids to do or I'll, specifically in this case, I want, what I want the kidder to do is just hold the balloon in, uh, with both hands and we're going to practice just throwing it up or tossing it up and catching using both hands. Again, tossing up and catching with both hands. And the goal is for the kiddo to just toss it up, not super uh, high, but just in front of them. Just in front of them, catch with both hands, toss and catch. Again, we want them to be tracking the balloon. We want them to have their hands ready whenever the balloon's coming down, hands ready just like so. Whenever uh, they do what I like to do is once they've done 10 successful toss and catch catches, um, then they uh, to me that shows me that they, they can do it. So once they do 10, or, 10 in a row, then I get to move on to the next one. And the next one is again, we're gonna have the balloon in one hand, usually non dominant, and we're gonna toss it up and we're just gonna work on um, just striking the balloon up and down using both hands. Again, the palms are open uh, and palms are facing up to the sky. We're just striking the balloon up and down. Again, if they're sitting down, you can do this while they're sitting down. But if they're standing up, you can also have more movement where they can walk around with the balloon just like so. So again, the goal is to keep the balloon in midair, not touch the floor. Again, we're moving just like so. We want to use our head. We can use our head. Again, hands. Um, we can use our shoulder to hit it up if we're tracking it. Again, um, there's a lot of lot of things that we can do with the balloon. We can work on our kicking, just like so. Another thing that I like to do is just hold um, the balloon with both hands, let it go, and make contact with the shoe. We're kicking it up. Again, hold it up, just like so. Okay. Um, there's a lot of fun activities that you can do with a balloon. Um, another thing that I like to do, especially with the kiddos, if, let's say if they don't have a ball like I do on the floor, right over here, I like to uh, work on kicking with a balloon. So what I do is I put the balloon on the floor just like so, and I'll take a couple steps back. And for this one, it's just we are taking, we are walking towards our balloon, so we are walking, and we are kicking the balloon, okay? Again, 
Uh, it's a kick. Uh, we're using either the shoelace part of the shoe or we're using the inside part of the shoe. Those are the two uh, that I'm using or that I want the kiddos to be using. Again, we're walking, we're kicking using the shoelace part of the shoe or we're kicking using the inside part of the shoe. Um, and again, those are some of the activities that we like to work on with the balloon. Um, I will create more um, later on, especially when it comes to, let's say, trapping. We can just work on trapping with the balloon. Uh, if we had a badminton racket, obviously we can um, work with someone else back and forth. Let's say we can do some volleys. Let's say it's me and someone else, another, another adult that's helping me out. We can just work on volleys back and forth, just like so. Um, again, be creative. Uh, I provided some ideas, but um, you can also incorporate some of the things that you may want to. Or if you have one idea, one other ideas that you're thinking of, you can also do those. But for the meantime, that, that's a fun one. Just incorporating a balloon, any type of balloon, if it's colorful. Um, it engages the kiddos more, it gets their attention more, it gets them to focus, and if they're focused, they participate a little more. And so that is the goal for me. Again, I got those balloons at the Dollar Tree. Just um, go if you if you guys can, or uh, the 9 cent store, they'll also have it. So let me know what happens. I hope you guys have fun. Um, have a good day.